Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I want to introduce myself. My name is Jarrell Washington. I am a local realtor in the Princeton, New Jersey area. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this coronavirus pandemic, but not just about the pandemic, but how uh, we should be kind of, in my opinion, how we should be looking at this. So I've got some notes here. Uh, this is my first time doing a video like this uh, on my channel. My channel is brand new, taking an old channel and kind of revamping it and making it what I really want it to be going forward in 2020. So um, let's kind of get right into this. Oh, and by the way, I don't have any editing skills at this point. So this is going to be a straight through raw video, errors, mess up, stumbling and all. OK, so um, what I did during the coronavirus pandemic, that's the name or title of this video. Uh, and I want you guys to kind of get a couple quick things. Remember simply this. Uh, back in school, many of you guys might remember in, in elementary school uh, and maybe even in junior high school, one of the first things on the first day or the first week of school we had to do was to write a quick essay. And usually that essay was what I did on my summer vacation. Do you guys remember that? So I was thinking about that a little bit and it popped into uh, my, my line of sight uh, from an email. Uh, that, that I came across. And um, it got me thinking, right? Uh, and what I thought about, um, when I thought about that, I kind of made a decision that as an adult, when I look back at the things that I've done in my life, I can be proud of very uh, of a lot of things and, and not so proud of very few things, right? Um, and when I think about this time, uh, I don't want to think about what we're doing in the midst of it. But when I look back, how did I handle it, right? So if, it, if I think about it like that, something is going to be a little bit different. So I decided uh, that I'm not going to spend the next few weeks or months or however long it's going to take whining and complaining and being freaked out uh, or, or feeling bummed out, really, because it kind of depresses you uh, because life is just simply too precious. This time is what it is. We can't control it. Right now, understand this. I'm not trying to minimize what's going on. The coronavirus is a very, very, very serious thing. Um, and it's going to have an impact on all of us, right? It's going to have an impact on our businesses. It's going to have an impact on our finances, on our personal lives, for those who are severely affected by it. Um, and at the end of the day, the way I look at it is simply this. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. We can't make it go away. Uh, we can't stick our head in sand uh, and just pretend it's not happening. That's just, that's ignorant, right? Uh, but it doesn't have to bum us out and keep us isolated in such a way that we just disconnect from society uh, completely. But that said, um, we can totally choose how we respond to what's going on, right? We're adults, we're smart. We can figure some of these things out. What it means is that we're going to do things differently, right? And uh, we can be our best selves or we can be our smallest selves. I'm choosing to be my best self. I say we can grow or we can shrink. So I choose to grow. And I'm asking you to kind of make that same decision. You can choose to shrink or you can choose to grow. And sometimes it just takes setting back a little bit, taking your mind off of the news, take your mind off of social media, take your mind out of fear and start planning what you're going to do to grow during this time, right? This hardship. So we've all faced tough times in the past. I'm no exception. I don't know about you guys, but things haven't always been rosy for me in my life, right? And when I think about that, you know, guess what? I made it to today, which means I got through those hard times. When I look back at some of those times, were the decisions I could have made better? Absolutely. Did I plan during the hard times when I was younger? Absolutely not. I just kind of got through them, right? And so sometimes I learned lessons, sometimes I didn't. But I'll tell you what, if you can stop now and look at the hard times you've gone through, there are lessons you've learned and you've gotten better because of it, right? So um, I can honestly say that um, as the hard times as those were, I grew stronger and better, and I learned huge lessons because of it, right? And I think you guys probably have too. The decisions and choices that I made during those times shaped who I am today, and they've shaped who you are today. I choose to make lemons or take lemons and make lemonade. That's an old saying that everybody heard that a thousand times in their life, if not more. So I know the tough times uh, we're going through, it can sometimes seem like they're overwhelming, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, here's what I did. I sat myself down and I brainstormed some ideas, right? So here are a few areas that I think will serve me and what I plan to do. And I think it can serve you too, right? 
So one of the ideas that I came up with um, or that I thought about um, was to serve, right? Another one, uh, serve meaning serving my community and starting very small, my community of my family and friends and, and my past clients uh, and some of the prospects, people that I've worked with over the years, serving those people, right? Keeping that part small. Um, another thing is to inspire, like this video, right? I uh, try to inspire people to be the best version of themselves during this tough time and to help other people. Take the focus off of me and focus on some other people to try to help them while also helping myself and building better rapport, better connections with my community. Uh, take a little time to learn, right? Uh, we're going to go into some of these things here in a little more detail. Um, be creative and to connect more, right? So going back up to the first point to serve. Uh, I'm going to read my notes here so that way I can kind of get through this at a decent pace. If ever there was a time to step up and be of service to our communities, now is it. Find out about special community resources created just for this time and shoot uh, a directory of them to your contact list. In other words, food banks, um, other community related or, or focused uh, organizations, find those, make a list, and then take that and send it to your community. OK, um, start an online campaign for folks to buy gift cards from local businesses that might be struggling. So if you are in a position where you have a little money, you've got reserve for emergencies. Right. Then maybe what you do is you help stimulate some businesses that you currently patron that may have some struggles. Call those businesses. Uh, many of them are closed restaurants and bars, those type of things. But sometimes the owners of those businesses will be present on site. And if you call, they can answer the phone, have a conversation with them and find out of how solid they are and what they're expecting during this time. You'd be surprised that many businesses only clear between forty and $80,000 a year, even though they're busy because they have overhead insurance and all these other you know, overhead costs, um, you know, rent or mortgage or what have you, that they may not be clearing very much, right? And so getting a call from a patron like you during this time to see if you can help send business their way Maybe they're making burgers and they're a they're steak shop, or they're making burgers and doing deliveries or you know, quick pickups, something like that, you know, calling orders. So maybe they're doing something to try to keep afloat, to keep, keep a, and that might be something that you can, you can assist with. So reach out to the local business and find out, find out if they're very solvent, if they need help, and maybe you can help, you know, get them going. Uh, let's see, uh, start an online campaign, folks buy gift cards, da, da, da. okay. So, um, Set up a network of online tutors uh, for students who are out of school. So if you're home with your kids and you have a specialty, you're good in math, English, um, something like this, you might be able to set up an online uh, tutoring situation, right? Whether it's through Zoom or, um, you know, one of the meeting applications that are out there, Google Hangouts, those type of things. Uh, maybe even one-on-one -on -one with, um, uh, with FaceTime, right? Or, um, you know, Google um, has additional apps on, on the phone besides Hangouts. And maybe do one-on-one, -on -one, Facebook, one-on-one -on -one or one-to-many. And you can help people and, and maybe give the parent of that child uh, a break where they can't help them, but they do need help, right? And virtually, it's easy to do. Uh, or maybe take a little time and teach something that you're amazing, you know, like a, via Zoom or teach how to use Zoom. I need to learn how to use it better, which is why I'm doing this video. And I'm going to kind of broadcast it like a, a, what do you call it, a watch party on Facebook and trying to a live Zoom type of webinar. And, and rerun this thing, okay? And I'm doing it all free, just for my community and see if something can spark someone to uh, give them some assistance where they can help their community to help themselves, okay? Uh, maybe you're great at paper mache or cooking or something like that. And that could be something just to take the people's you know, mind off of what's happening in the world and focus on them and give them something to do, right? You'd be surprised when people were distressed or sad or what have you, you kind of lose some creativity and, and you kind of hunker down and it kind of gets worse in a spiral, okay? Um, the next uh, point would be to inspire, pass on inspirational Facebook posts. Now that happens all the time, guys. Uh, I'm tired of reading Facebook inspiration, but if you're not someone who typically does it, that means your community may not be receiving it or may not be receiving it from you. And maybe you need to receive it yourself, right? Just to kind of keep positive. because It's very easy to turn negative. Um, send inspirational, encouraging messages to the people in your contact list. Um, that's powerful. I plan to do that after this video. Um, you know, text positive messages to your clients and coworkers. Listen, don't forget your family and friends. There's people that in your own family you probably haven't spoken to in a long time. Reach out to them. Give them a phone call, right? Be a leader. Make that first step. Even if people that you, 
you know, may don't, maybe don't, you don't like, you know, there's a cousin, there's a brother, a sister that you've been feuding with for a while, reach out to them, right? Just check on them. You might be upset with them, but I'm sure you still love them in some capacity. I know you don't want anything bad to happen to them. So if you have people like that in your life, reach out to them, okay? Help seniors in your community, uh, get on YouTube so they can find, you know, streaming church services or, um, you know, meditation sessions or something like this, right? Uh, they're probably neighbors that, you know, you have that maybe live alone. You know, older people who live alone, that's 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 a, that's a group that needs help, right? So, you know, put your gloves on, put your face mag on, mask on, get you some Corel, get cleaned up, take some Lysol with you, you know, knock on the door and see if they need any help, right? Help them out if you can. Um, you know, forward a great podcast, um, a video, or, or post that uplifting, um, uh, you know, video or message or something that, that you made to help people feel good. Let it be you. Like, this is me to you. Chances are it will make others feel good, too, to help make people smile. That actually takes the edge off of this craziness that we're going through. Um, maybe that's too much for you. So take this time and learn something new, right? Uh, remember, you know, all those online classes you wanted to take uh, and couldn't find the time. Well, guess what? You might be hunkered down for enough time to get some certifications <laughs> or at least some new knowledge. <laughs> Uh, with everything slowing down and shutting down, you've got time now. So you use that time wisely. You know, the difference between someone who's rich and someone who's poor is how they use the 24 hours in a day. Everybody has the same 24 hours. So plan your 24 hours better and, and see what results you can get. Okay. Turn this downtime into really positive focus time. And you'd be surprised at what your life may look like on the other side of this. Uh, you can find zillions, maybe not zillions, but a whole lot of stuff. Uh, courses that are online uh, on everything from digital marketing to Zumba. Uh, you can even go on virtual tours of world famous museums and art galleries online. Uh, something I like to do, you know, look at art, um, you know, be part of that and learn more about things that are happening around the world. Um, and then this, how about finding something your whole family could learn together, right? If you've got kids at home, a lot of colleges sent their, sent their, their students home, right? So if you have, you know, children who've come home and everyone's trying to figure something to do, have a planning session and figure things out, make a list, and then you guys just jump into it together. Those would be some great family memories and tie you guys together, bind you, you know, closer. Um, and if you have little people, you know, maybe origami or maybe learning Spanish or Hebrew or some other language that you don't, you know, typically speak. Uh, let's see. Uh, create. Um, I'm not a very creative person, um, but you know. If you can brainstorm on new marketing ideas for your business, you know, that might be something, right? Or maybe even researching some things about your business that you have not been uh, historically good at that you probably need to implement. That might be something good. Uh, try a recipe, um, something you've never made before. Why not? You're home anyways, right? Uh, write a poem, you know, to your significant other and express to them how much you love and care about them. Uh, help your kids put on a play. Create a detailed spreadsheet of how you spend you know, ten dollars, and figure out how you can make that ten dollars stretch. Because some of us uh, are in financial trouble, and we need to make those um, dollars stretch as far as they can. Uh, write out birthday and anniversary cards, you know, to your clients for the entire year. Why not? What else are you gonna do, right? You can do the same thing for your friends and family. Um, create content, video scripts, videos, podcasts, uh, digital posts, you know, for your business. So you just kind of create a library of those things while you have downtime. And then you can start releasing them throughout the year. And guess what? You can buy that future time back by getting it done now. Okay. Uh, and then connect. Lastly, this is the last one. Connect. Keep that human connection going virtually. Host a Zoom happy hour with your neighbors. Uh, take plan breaks with coworkers and friends via conference calls. Uh, do a book club via Zoom. Um, I'm saying Zoom because that's what I choose to use is Zoom. Um, uh, Pick up the phone and connect with at least two friends a day, especially those who live alone. Again, people living alone, you'd be surprised. You know, when, when you're isolated, um, depression can set in. And that actually is, is that's a bigger problem than I actually knew um, existed, uh, except for a few years ago when I started learning more about it. OK, so, you know, I'm sure you can come up with a million ideas. Just remember, we faced hard times before. We'll face hard times again. Um, and sometimes all you need is your friends and family and people that you know to kind of help pull you through. The point is to grow through these times uh, and offer what we have to our communities during these times, our skills, our talents, our creativity, our knowledge, uh, our inspiration to others, and most of all, our hearts.
uh, the result? Well, uh, we'll be able to write an essay at the end of all this saying what we did during the coronavirus pandemic. That'll be an interesting blog um, if you keep track of what you've done. So having said that, my name is Jarrell Washington. Thank you for getting through this video. If this was valuable to you, please like it. Uh, please um, subscribe to my channel um, and share it with somebody. You know, you, you never know who might need to hear something that I've said today. That's it, guys. Take care. I appreciate you being here. My number is 609-933-9044. If you're looking for real estate in New Jersey, California, let me know. I'm your guy. If I'm not there, I have a team that will take care of you. Take care.